Hello. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Just want to quickly share the stream. Give me one second. Post. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? Okay. I never really thought about what was going on behind there, but just ignore that. That's my front door. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, Indiana. Okay, I can see if I look this way, it's because I'm looking at my laptop, so. I can see both chats. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just working on a ton of masks. I cut them all out last night. So now I'm going to, hello, hi, UK. Hello, West Virginia. North Carolina. Queens, oh my goodness. Aw, that's wonderful. <clears throat> are are you guys making the masks to give away or to sell? Hello, New York. <clears throat> now, you might think this is dishonorable, but I am making the masks to sell. And the reason why I am is because I have lost all my income to my day job. So, I mean, there's no shame in trying to have a little bit of a side hustle to be able to get, you know, the bills paid. So that is what I'm doing and I'm getting lots of orders. I am a photographer on a daily basis. So you can imagine that as a photographer, all the services literally disappeared within minutes when there was, you know, social distancing took place. But of course, donating and selling at the same time also isn't a bad thing. Donating to the hospitals, but selling to, you know, the local people. That's awesome. See, if you keep it balanced, then, it's, you know. <clears throat> Hello, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Colorado, Alabama, Brazil. My goodness, everyone. It's so amazing how this has really brought the sewing community together. Like, I think people are actually pulling out their sewing machines um, who haven't sewn in years, which is amazing because um for once this is a necessity not just a hobby okay I have my pedal. anyways <clears throat> so yeah try to get some more done oh thank you los angeles thank you michelle brooksville florida Yeah, so I'm in uh, Ontario, Canada, if you don't already know. So we are getting, we're get, our numbers are going up. So they're getting there. We're practicing a lot of social distancing. My sister just went to Costco and she said it was like a maze in the parking lot because everyone is like six feet away from each other and they're only letting so many people into the store at the same time. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. Oh, I got it on low speed. Like, this is going to take me forever at low speed. <clears throat> so I really like um, this particular pattern. This is my N95 style because when you do make them, you can chain a lot of it. So... Chaining just means you're just going to keep continually feeding it into the machine. And then you save a lot of y or, um, yarn. <laughs> what is it called? Thread. Oh, that's so awesome. I've seen a lot of people like just putting masks on their neighbors' cars and stuff. So when they come out, they see that. I should do that. 
the sides, like where you put the elastic. Oh, I have to tell you this. Um, and um, can you, hold on. Gonna go this way? No, this way. I'm gonna fall off the chair or the table. So I order from fabricville.com in Canada because all of the fabric stores don't want to send to me in the US. And then I ordered, oh my God, listen to this. This is the worst and tell me if this has happened to you, but I, I put in an order to get 10 things of elastic and then a bunch of fabric. I was getting cotton solid so that I could do this. And then a few days later, I'm like, it's weird. My order hasn't shipped yet. I wonder what's up. So I went and checked my email. And I'm like, I don't see any email. That's weird. And then I went back to my account and noticed that it was all still in my cart. And I never actually pressed the last button to submit the order. So I was waiting for an imaginary shipment. <sighs> it was very frustrating. So anyway, so I made another order and now those are coming in. So I'm now I'm behind. I have a lot of orders and I don't have the elastic. So I'm like, you know, I am, but I don't have elastic. <clears throat> but then today, fabricville.com just put up 665 elastics. So I bought 50, which is probably not enough, but I'm like, that's a, that still seems like a lot. So, and they only sell them in like little bunches. So I'm like, okay, 50, it was still a hundred dollars for elastic, but I mean, I'll make it back. So. The pleat things after the elastics. This particular mask doesn't have pleats. This is my, I'll, I'll get it for you. <clears throat> oh goodness, I see a little puppy, a little Labrador puppy and it's refusing to walk because it doesn't know how. Oh my God, that's so cute, okay. So this is the one I'm making. This is the other one. This is the um, surgical style. But if you're gonna sell them, I find that people like these ones more. They just feel more secure and close to your face. But if you're gonna donate, um, there are easier tutorials. I do have this tutorial up, but there are easier tutorials that you can check out to make these. I sold for three dollars to pay for the material. That is really cost too much. Yeah, three dollars is really low. I'm charging ten, which is a Canadian money, so it'd probably be like seven, seven American. But I don't know what your um. Actually, I don't even know if you're American. <laughs> ten dollars Canadian. Uh, I made it metal and not elastic. However, I make them anyways. Thank you, Christina. Creations by a Yankee. What do you make, Christina? I'm interested. I don't have an Etsy shop, by the way. I mean, I do have an Etsy shop, but it's for like patterns and stuff. I don't have anything on the Etsy shop. Right now, I'm Happy Dan doing, <laughs> what? Happy Dan Don TV? Hi, do you put a filter in yours? Um, yeah, th there is a filter pocket. I'm just doing this part. So I just keep feeding it in the machine. 
And then after it'll be like a big long chain and you can either put it on the wall for decoration or cut them apart. <laughs> Oh, I bet. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Whitney Sews, but she is going through buckets of bias tape. Like, holy moly. And with this, oops, with this, uh, this, this particular mask does have elastics behind the ear. So, um, you know, for nurses and stuff, they do complain that they have ear pain because they have to wear them for so long, but... There are also other things. Here, I'll show you what I've been uh, trying. <clears throat> I, I totally messed it up. And I would probably not even make it myself. I would probably just go buy a headband, but I made like a crappy headband. Um, I mean, you, might, you may have seen this online, but it's got like uh, buttons on the side. So they, the little elastics would go on the buttons and then not their ears. I've also seen girls do pigtails. <laughs> And then just put the elastic around each pigtail, which I thought was cute. Okay. But yeah, if you're new um, to the channel, welcome. Um, I have had a boost in my subscribership, which is amazing. I just, I can't even... <clears throat> I've had a lot of views because of the masks and I put up this mask tutorial a while ago like not a while ago but like at the beginning when it was really controversial and I was really like I felt sick to my stomach before I put the mask tutorial out there because I was so afraid I was because I looked online and I was like there's no mask tutorials other than tutorials that were Asian or from China or something like that, Japan, I don't know. And so I felt like physically ill putting this tutorial out there. My husband's like, just do it, just put it out. And I'm like, okay, fine. And then I did, I got a ton of hate. And it was hard. It was a little bit like, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to get people yelling and screaming at you. But now everyone and their mother is putting up a mask tutorial, <laughs> which is fine because a lot of people are doing different versions. So there's a lot of different ways to do masks. Ah, what's going on here? Oh, <laughs> got a little piece stuck in there. But it's almost like I was the one who took the brunt of it at first, and then everyone else got to just slide in with their tutorials. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure they still get hate. I'm still getting it. They're getting mad at me because I put N95 style in the in the title. And the only reason why I did that was because I had the surgical mask style, which was the accordion, and then this one, which was like kind of like a full face mask. But <clears throat> Aw, thanks. Well, you know, this is my, this is my jam. <clears throat> Getting the tutorials out for you guys. And, uh, this is such a crazy time and I hope that none of you guys are directly affected by this horrible thing. <clears throat> So far, my family has been spared, but I do have, my sister is in and out of hospitals. Like she literally goes to all the hospitals in the area and uh, she assesses elderly patients for nursing homes. So she has to go in to get them, to release them, to go to nursing homes, which would free up beds. So she's very essential to do that but she does have to go into many hospitals and 
<clears throat> it's very dangerous. And then I also have a, a ER nurse in the family who also, <clears throat> she has two babies, you know, so it's like so scary. <clears throat> But I haven't gone anywhere since, let's see, let's have a competition. When was the last time you went out? <laughs> because I haven't gone anywhere for leisure activity, which was going out for breakfast, since March 12th. And then I went to Walmart a few times after that, but then I got the bronchitis. So now I'm like, I'm vulnerable. <laughs> oh, I know. It sometimes it, it can be very intimidating. <clears throat> you should have seen me with zippers i was very very afraid to try a zipper <laughs> which is so ridiculous but i was literally afraid and i thought oh this is gonna be bad and i'm gonna mess it up and i'm gonna waste a lot of money and now i love zippers zippers it's so fun i want to put zippers in everything okay i'm trying to find some gussets here good i have lots of men's here Girls, I know I ironed some. See, look, Ooh, isn't that cool? And just think if you were to take one off of like one after the other off of this, like you know, so one at a time, you would have like so much extra thread just wasted and thrown in the garbage. So it's really saves a lot so you just want to like so uh, like a quarter of an inch past it it kind of knots up the thread and then you just put the other one in so that's pretty cool oh i lost okay wait <laughs> seven and a half weeks in the house yikes yeah, March, uh, yeah, it's, it's really tough. Uh -huh. Well, I had to go grocery shopping, yeah. They got it one way in and one way out. You must bring shopping cart out for D Santa. Wow. <clears throat> well, we have, um, our premiere is Doug Ford. That's what it's called. Yeah. Which is Premier as Ontario. And he said that because of all the things that we've been doing, according to the numbers, it said that um I think in like three months we would have one million people contracted the virus or die. No, no, I think in two years, we would have one million people die if we didn't do anything at all. So within two years of this whole thing, this is the, this is the statistics that they're putting out there. But since we have done the isolation and also that, the numbers now are, we're probably going to lose between eight to 15,000 people in two years, which is amazing. We, we don't have a lot of people in Canada. Like, we have 30 million people in Canada. So in the US, they have 360 million people. So of course that number seems quite low, but we, you know, compared to the US, we have a lot less people. But it's just amazing to see how much just doing those things like staying in the house and not going out really does affect and save lives. Like, holy moly. I'm assuming like, oh, look at this. Oh, yes. This reminds me of Tiger King. Is anyone watching the Tiger King? <laughs> I, had, I watched it within like two days. 
I'm gonna start my live streams. Hey, you cool cats and kittens. And then I'm gonna wear the mask while I'm doing it. Make sure I'm uh, good here. <clears throat> and if you don't want to do the um, the elastic like I'm doing, I kind of like the way that I do it just because you have the elastic inside the casing and then there you tie it off and then if you need to adjust the elastic, you can easily just tie it in another knot. But if you wanted to take a piece of elastic and then when it's inside out, just put it here and here, you can totally do that too. And then just sew the elastic right into the seam. That also could save you time. Why did I do that? Oops, I just disconnected. Prometheus, I haven't seen that before. <clears throat> I don't know where the all the gusts are though. I didn't sew them. I got I must not have cut many out. Pretty sure I did them in gray actually. <clears throat> Horrible phlegm inside my throat right now. Um, I'm selling them locally. So if you're in Ontario, but I'm not selling them yet online. The only reason why I'm not selling them online is because I don't want to go to the post office. <laughs> and I'm sick. So that's why I'm just really self-isolating. Wonderful. I'm glad you found my pattern. Do you have the pattern or did you have it in another show? Um, in the once this uh, live stream is over, I will have. So if you're watching this at a later date, I will have it posted below. But <clears throat> I do have the link, which it's just charmedbyashley.com slash full hyphen face hyphen mask. I will have the link down below, of course, after. Because I got to fill in that, um, the description box. But if you want to find the tutorial, then you can easily just go and grab that. It's on the front page of my website too. So charmedbyashley.com. It's right there. <clears throat> and I have a uh, child size now. So I have four sizes. And the child size should fit uh, four to eight or not eight eight to ten i i can't really i don't have like it fits my daughter she's eight so i don't know if it would fit a 10 year old but the small size would be like a, a teen or tween so um it might be a little big on a 10 year old the small but it might it might work i don't know i don't have a 10 year old <laughs> That's awesome. I'm running out of fabric, so. <laughs> so. But the good thing is, is that just think of the shopping trip I'm gonna have. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. <clears throat> I usually go across the border to um, to the USA, go over to Joann's. So I'm just gonna do, I have my three pieces. So this is the gusset, 
This is the outer lining. I haven't folded my like hemmed this yet though. I'm just gonna hem it quick. I'm not even gonna iron it because I'm crazy like that, which is probably gonna be a bad thing. I would always recommend ironing this, oh my god. I've had fabric donated to me, but it's never cottons. So I've never run into somebody who is a a quilter, I guess. So I had, like my grandma, when she passed away, I got all her fabric and it was all like garment, old lady garment fabric. Polyester. <laughs> Wasn't nice. It was too, it's a shame. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do a quick little demo. Move all this. And then I'll point you down. And okay. <clears throat> I got all this. I need to sew still. Oh my goodness, so much. Okay, so here's my little gusset piece. This is the lining, and this is the outer fabric, which is a super cute. Uh, it's got ice cream and it's got sparkles. How cute. I know. <laughs> I like to use clips. Um, I would probably say I prefer pins, but because I have a dog, a puppy, I don't want her to get one in her mouth. So the first thing I do, I've made so many that I have it down to a science. Is I take my lining piece. And then I'm going to take the gusset piece and I'm going to lay that on top with the wrong side of my gusset touching the right side of my lining. And then we're going to line up the center seams. I would say 100% cotton would be nicer just because, you know, on the skin and stuff. I think polyester makes you, I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not an expert. <clears throat> I just go with cotton because it's breathable and then I take clips and I flatten it out so the ends of the gusset are flattened there flip it over and again line up that center seam going down to the edge of the gusset I got long threads going on here <laughs> and <Oop. laughs> that was there. Okay. All right, so that is that. And then I'm going to place this on top, right sides, facing the right side of the gusset. And just picking up that clip and re-pinning it there just to get the other piece in there. Super easy. I wish I had more clips because then I could do this. But I only have a few clips because I've lost most of them. <clears throat> um, it is a typical spring day rainy and it's actually warming up though so that's nice it's about 10 degrees celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit <laughs> all right there you go so then i usually do a hole here and i'll start sewing at the beginning of the gusset 
so you can make sure that that is in there properly. <clears throat> okay. And moving that needle all the way over. What is going on, computer? 10 degrees, that's freezing. <laughs> 10 degrees is... Um, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> It's so funny because we're so acclimated to the uh, that temperature that when we go to Florida, we're the only ones who are swimming in the pools because all the locals are too cold. <laughs> okay. Going down. up the other side making sure that your gusset did not shift and it's in place and if you want when you're like if you guys can see it here I'll bring you closer so dark. No. If you wanted to even do like a little a dip here and make it more sleek, you could do that too. Just make sure that the nose is in the right place. Where did you get the baby clothes? <laughs> Those, these are, oh, these are from Amazon. <laughs> I have them, uh, I don't know, they're just called sewing clips on Amazon. People will call them clover clips because that is the company that makes the more expensive version. But they are. Super cute. And the cheapy ones from China are good. They're fine. I'm not going to spend a ton more money on clips like that because that's a, a name brand. Anyways, okay. So now I usually have a knitting needle on hand to do this. But I'm just going to show you how I flip it. <clears throat> I go to that little hole and that little hole is literally the size of my thumb like it doesn't need to be very big so there's not a lot of fabric so you can easily shove it through and I'll usually put my thumb in and I go all the way to the back corner and then I'll put that little corner through and then you can just pull it and slowly work it through. And then that is how it will look. <laughs> but first, I'm going to take the knitting needle. And then I'm just going to go to the corner. And I like the knitting needle because it's got a blunt tip on it. So you're just going to poke all the corners. Good. Making sure that all the seams are poked out. Okay. 
and then you can fold it and then you can press it if you're saying if your iron is heated up which mine is not but from here I will do I will sew my casing or my elastic and I like to push my needle nice hi Whitney look everyone it's a local celebrity Whitney sews everybody say hi <laughs> Oh, I wish. That sounds amazing. I would like to have the whole ham, please. <clears throat> All right. I do one casing. And it doesn't need to be very big, so I do it just about... Uh, what is that? Half a half an inch, and then I'll do the other side. And this is another thing that if you wanted to um, chain these, if you have, if you do all your masks at the same time, you know, you do each step at the same time. Um, you could feed and then feed and keep going and again do the chain all the same step so that's hello spain okay yes i saw whitney a little bit last night too and you know what it's so nice to see you you, you seem so relaxed in live streams you should definitely do them more often it's nice to see that it's nice to see when people are, you know, kind of like in their natural habitat, you know. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do the top stitching along the top and the bottom of that. And I start at the casing seam that I created. I would definitely recommend doing these ironed because it's a lot nicer. How often does it smell up there? Um, uh, well, where I am, Southern Ontario. So I'm right pretty much at the border of you guys. We had a really mild winter, so it wasn't that bad. And it's funny because like Buffalo usually gets hit harder than my city. New York gets hit harder than us, and we're in Canada, but it just all depends on where you are. But up north, like, it just snowed the other day. Like a full snow, you know, shoveling the driveways and everything. <laughs> but it did not snow much here at all, thankfully. We have something called an escarpment too, which is a big, a big hill <laughs> and that protects our little city here. 30, minus 30 degrees. Um, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> but um, in parts of Canada that there is that minus 30, um, there's actually like no humidity. So the humidity is what really kills you. Because I have a friend who she lived in, I think it was Manitoba, and she said that it is so cold here at like minus 10 because our humidity is so high 
than in Manitoba where the air is so dry you can be outside in minus 30 degrees for hours and hours and just play and build things and just she's like you can't do that here in Ontario and that makes me so sad I'm like why are we so humid I mean we're 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 eight hours from New York like are we that close to the to the ocean <clears throat> but yeah humidity really has a lot to do with how cold it is yeah mm -hmm, for sure like especially same with heat like people say oh it's so hot it's like yeah but the heat is a dry heat so it's not as bad okay so there's a top stitch in the bottom so you can see better here and then I'll just do another stitch right along here and it might not even be necessary because I'll usually pick out the seams to create the seat like this the um the casing I'll pick out a few stitches on either side and then I just stick the elastic in there but you know just so that because I do break those stitches I don't want the the seam to continue to bust open and then the elastic come out so I'll just do another little row of stitches and I do that right off the edges to basically lock that up and it kind of looks good too it looks a little bit more professional come on let's see some focusing do we see it are you using elastic have you just I have not done jersey knit ties at all, but that would be nice. I would, I mean, with the, with the, uh, the elastic behind the ears, it's not great long-term. So I imagine that would be nicer to have behind your ears. What do you think about making these masks out of Devon? <coughs> I don't know. I feel like it might be a little hot. It'd be great if it was, if we were like in a cold environment right now, like if we were going through winter, that would be probably awesome. So just the outer shell would be denim. And then it would just add that extra like little, you know, warmth to it, but it, it's, you know, starting to warm up now, so. Ah, go. No! Ay, ay. There's so many ways to make masks. But that's the thing, if you're going to donate them to the nurses and stuff, they've been really complaining about the, the pain behind their ears. So these masks wouldn't be ideal for nurses who are wearing them for 12-hour shifts. <laughs> no, it's spring now. Spring started on March 20th. <laughs> getting all gummed up all oh, the robins are here they're all the the finches are making their nests they're trying to make one in my neighbor's mailbox right now hi baby <laughs> my little boy is beside me you're okay yeah Hello. I don't want to go. What are you doing? Yeah. I'll see you at the end of the day. 
All right, so this one is ready for elastic now. Nice. They will appreciate that immensely. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my phone. All right. Hello. So now I'm just going to pick up my stitches. I don't have any elastic right now. But I was saying earlier that I just ordered 50, 50 things of elastic. So hopefully I'll get those next week. Probably not actually, probably the following week. But I have a few coming. So hopefully I'll get that tomorrow on Monday. Because they don't ship anything on the weekends in Canada. Do you guys get shipments on the weekend? Because we don't. Don't jump, okay, sweetie. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. I just... I will very, very soon, my love. Okay. Okay. So, now I'm just going to, please stop it, okay? I need you to go, okay? I'll see you in a bit, okay? I'm almost done. I'm just going to... <laughs> they said hi to you, Jack. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the gussets. Alright, where am I? Okay. Let's do some more. So yeah, so if you haven't tried one yet, hopefully that didn't look too bad. Especially now that I figured it all out. Because <laughs> I was so afraid to make it the first time. I drew the pattern myself and everything. And I have so many prototypes that I ended up just throwing in the trash. But now they are... All the... Uh, the bumps in the road are flattened so there shouldn't be it shouldn't be too difficult to make it and then if of course if you're not already familiar with the actual tutorial you can watch the tutorial which is more you know is better quality than me sitting in a chair trying to show you on my crappy black desk But <laughs> yeah, I'll put one that's finished. So here it is. Goes under my chin this much, and this is the medium size, so. And I do have some measurements on the blog post also. So if you are wondering, you know, what size you need, then the, the measurements will be like, you know, your nose and things like that. So you can figure it out. But most likely the men's would be large and the medium would be a woman's type. And what size needle are you using in your machine? I'm just using a universal needle. And with the, probably like a 14, just because of the, you know, there's a little bit of bulkiness in some of the areas. But I do need to change my needle because it sounds horrible. And machine oil. I should oil it up. This is the one I use. And it's funny because I've heard people say, I've never put machine oil in my machine. And I'm like, I can't not. I don't know if it's because it's just like a brother and it's kind of crappy. I mean, it's not the best machine, but it makes a huge difference.
I haven't done that yet, but um, it, it's super easy. You can put the pipe cleaner inside the gusset area and then just place it and then you could do another casing. You can make a box around it just to hold it in place. So it's super easy to do it even after the fact. So if you wanted to make these and then if by, you know, per request when somebody's like, you know, hey, can I have that? Then you can put that in after the fact and just stitch that in super quick for whoever wants it. Because I mean, I don't find it necessary if I'm just gonna be wearing it to the grocery store. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, people are messaging me about masks. Who knew this would be a business? <laughs> I mean, it is for companies, but who knew that this would be like an at-home business? So if you guys are looking for some extra money also on the side, you know, you donate some to the hospitals and then maybe help out, especially like so many people that I know, their husbands are being laid off and, you know, they're being laid off. <clears throat> Yeah, this brother is a CP7500. It's uh, not the worst, but not the best. So I still love it. I mean, it's great. It's done a lot for me. bought any filters yet but there is uh there are mask filters and there's a newer mask filter that was just put on amazon.com so a lot of people are saying oh just go buy HEPA filters which I did mention that in the video and people started um getting going down my throat because of it I think um HEPA filters have fiberglass in them possibly so I, I didn't know but I would just stick with, I think there's like CPAP filters or pure, I know that's the other thing, vacuum cleaner bags. So I don't know, you have to see what is inside the fibers because of course anything you put inside your masks, you will ultimately breathe in. So I don't know, but I, when I saw um, a hospital tutorial, it was from a hospital. She said that she got HEPA filter material. Like it wasn't like she took it out of a, you know, a furnace filter. Cause that's what some people are doing is they're taking a furnace filter, taking off the, the frame and everything. And then just like, this is what you use. So I think that that is bad, but I don't even know because you still have to breathe the air that goes through it. So I don't know. The jury is out on the filters. <clears throat> That's all I know. I would probably just, whatever is a mask filter, then I would, I would buy that because then it's made for masks. That uh, phlegm in the lungs keeps creeping up. Ah, oh, thank you. You mean you weren't already a subscriber?
I'm actually amazed at how well my kids are doing. They're letting me do this. Usually they kind of come in the background and and be silly. But, you know, I have two kids, eight and six. So you can imagine I am trying to do stuff, trying to homeschool. <sighs> It's so funny because you took you just took it for granted you took if you if you stay at home mom and you have you know your at home business the kids go to school and you're like yay now I can sit down and I can do my business which is YouTube for me or photography um, but then now it's like I can't do anything And I've always been like a really good mom in the sense where I always try to entertain my kids where we have an activity or we go somewhere or we do something. So now that there's nothing to do, I'm always on deck. Like, what are we going to do today, mommy? <laughs> and I'm like, man, when I was a kid, my parents ignored me. <laughs> so I never expected anything. But now these kids, they need mommy to find things for them to do. Like, I remember just like hanging out in my bedroom. All day. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's see what we got going on here. I guess we could do the men's. The men's are usually super boring, so I usually give them just plain one color. I probably won't make them all into masks. I just cut out so much and then I'll just make the ones that I need and then the rest will just be in waiting. But right now I have orders for 12 for, oh my goodness. So many, I need to check. Sorry about that. One and to make sure okay. <clears throat> I have people who come in and do porch pickups. <laughs> okay. See you later, Whitney. Wow, oh my goodness. This will never end. My husband said that I was pretending to be sick and that I was sending him to the grocery store so I could get out of going to the grocery store.
He said, this is what you wanted. You want me to go to the grocery store for you. And I said, oh, yes. I want you to phone me every two minutes when you can't find something in the store. That's so fun for me. He said, it probably is. <laughs> like, it's not fun at all. Like, he says, where is this? I tell him where it is. I can't find it, so I'm not getting it. <laughs> But then when that happens, you really realize how well you know the store because you literally can draw a map in your, ma <laughs> in your head. Ugh. I just don't want to get someone else sick. So, yeah. But I would love to have a giveaway <clears throat> for anybody who is making masks. So I'm probably gonna announce it soon, but I basically, to enter the giveaway, it would be to share my tutorial and to post a picture of the masks that you've made. So whenever you make masks, take a picture and save it for when I host the giveaway. Cause I didn't have one for hitting 50,000 subscribers. And it won't be a huge giveaway. It'll just be some things that I've made. But I think that, you know, credit should be given to the ones who have taken time out of their lives to make masks and donate them to their communities. Or your family. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to be making <laughs> nice. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here because my puppy has been in the uh, crate for too long. Not too long, but you know, this amount of time. I have not tried that, but I thought of it. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to get off of here now and then stretch my legs because I'm all cramped up now. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for 63 whole minutes. Holy moly. And I, this has been the most people who's ever hopped into one of my live streams. So I'm just so, so thrilled with the amount of people that are coming out and sewing and coming to my channel. And I just want to say thank you so much. <laughs> like you have no idea. Like every day I say to my husband, like, oh my God, like look at how many people are watching my videos. I'm just still so grateful to all of you. Every single one of you and even the new ones. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, I if you want me to do some, I mean, I'm there will be no shortage of mask making. So if you would love to hang out with me again, then I will definitely do this again. Hello, South Africa. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you later.